I'm going to have a quick apology before you start watching the video. I may have accidentally clicked on my webcam as like my voice audio type thing rather than my snowball here. So the voice is a little, my voice is a little bit kind of echoey and not particularly great in this video. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Won't happen again. Hello and welcome back to more War for Among Us. Let's continue episode 2. Yes, in the last video, again, quite a bit happened. But then not much happened at the same time. I interrogated a lot of people and, spoiler alert, Snow White is alive. <laughs> very, very weird. But yes, someone was using her glamour. Using the, was using glamour as her. It was um, the troll um, Holly, who was the bartender person, um, sisters. Very weird there. But yeah. We've, we've seen this bit, but we haven't got much further, it's fine. So yeah, so, it's only a quick intro of what we've already seen. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business um, or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Yes, I don't want your assistance with anything. With anything. <laughs> I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> So I've heard. Yeah, it's quite a violent way, but you do have a way. <laughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Oh, for fuck's sake! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit! Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that! Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your I face. feel a bit uncomfortable being a strip club, never but fine, smiles. whatever. <laughs> Anything around here? I can How many look times do I have to say I it? Go talk to him. You're supposed look at the strip to stripper. The clients. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Boobs. Oh, <laughs> We're closed. Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop! For fuck's sake! You! Stay right there! Don't even think about sitting down! We're not finished! Leave her alone, asshole. She's just doing sure, her job. whatever you say! <laughs> what do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. 
In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. Poor girl. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? I don't want to get the violent just right. yet. One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, fuck! You! Smooth. Take your yeah. sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, hands. Hey. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! <laughs> you shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Well, you're not going to have much stuff by the end of it, so you better tell me now. Do not <laughs> touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. Right. That's silly wish there was. Maybe it would get, get you smashed. off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you.
Go for Jesus, it. you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I don't want to destroy anything. <laughs> you might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. I want answers, but I don't want to be a, like, don't want to vandalize things. <laughs> it seemed to work. Then. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Yeah, well, what can I say? <laughs> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, whatever. Uh. Hello? Business office? Why not pick up a pack of cigarettes? You might need them later on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't remember to look at this look at the cigarette machine. It's a cigarette machine. <laughs> Let's just open the door and see what this girl has to say if we can find her. Look at the stuff. Hey, <laughs> cubby. That's Billy's. Faiths? Lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Hmm, strange. Someone was hunting for something of Faiths. Not sure what. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. What's this, Sim? A note. Faith, what does it say? thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Okay. Anything around here? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself.
Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly Oops. are you well, suggesting? I knew what, what we she could meant. Make all the usual arrangements, <laughs> the usual place. Yes. <laughs> okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Whoa. Um, I don't think, don't think you even have any money, do you? Okay. Oh, I, uh... Yeah. Because I, uh... <laughs> I didn't take, um, dump, uh, no, Dee's money in the end. I decided to leave Thank it there. for a second. As it wasn't mine, I didn't really want to steal. Although it probably wasn't his either, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Why is she talking to Georgie? Yeah. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Looks like we're going there. Well, that's something I guess. I can kind of investigate around that area now. I got an achievement, made them cry. But yeah, um, so let's head to there and... <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> Mail should be by any chance, dressed up, dressed up as a cop. <laughs> Seems like a lovely hotel. Wow. Classy. <laughs> Can I get a drink? I'm quite thirsty actually. I haven't had a drink yet today. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kill you. Uh, I should be dead by now then. I drink way too much fizzy drinks. Foam sign. It's a good sign. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, don't want to ring the bell yet. Foam. Might as well look at everything first. They should probably repair that. Okay, is there anything else before I can ring the bell? Can Keep your pants on, buddy. Stairs? You have to check in first if you want a room. So come on, mosey on back and we'll get you set up. Why can't I go upstairs? What's going on up there? Hello, beauty. Oh, uh, beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. <sighs> Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? 
Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh, did you? Um, Ever see something? Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Oh, do you know... Did you see snow in Have here? you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. She, I just assumed was it wasn't snow and went about my business. Did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Uh, final question I then. talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? Yeah. It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Good thinking, I guess. Five so. minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> that it? Oh, another achievement. Can I get a fresh set of towels? Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Kind Which one was it? 204. Uh, but no, it was 207, wasn't it? Yes, yes, 207. <laughs> it wasn't 204. <laughs> Interesting sounds come from the room there. <laughs> I'm fed up with of lying for um. Four, 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 beauty. I will keep on doing it for now, but, um, can I just go in? <laughs> no? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, uh, Bigby. Uh, I lost I it. I can't just <laughs> let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Oh, <sighs> fine. Thank you. If I'm covering from you constant covering for you constantly, at least let well, me that's enter. Weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah shit. Beast? Big B. Oh, How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. Is that How what could it looks? This? We've been <laughs> together through everything. I took care of you. I love It's not what you think. Please! You're cheating on me! With no. Him? no, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm oh, sure dear. you help each other just great! 
I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Please I'm gonna have listen to, fight. to me! There's nothing going on! I'm gonna have to fight Beast Son. I hey, I, know. I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you had seen her, you fucking liar! Don't, don't do don't this! Have to do this. Just calm down and Beast! I don't want to fight you. You seem like a nice guy. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! Um, calm down. I told you. Stop. I don't want to be fighting you, beast. Leave him be. Quit it. This is my fault. Oh, did we act quick enough? I hate mashing things, I'm terrible at it. Ugh. <laughs> Ow, that looked painful! <laughs> Seriously, I do not want to... No, I don't want to fight you anymore. Seriously. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea, there's nothing going on. I don't need to be fighting him. <laughs> because you end up killing him. <laughs> you ruined everything! Jeez. She's my fucking wa- <sighs> Shit, Bigby. What have you done? Well, you got into, got into the room now. <laughs> what, what is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this! Ew, wow. Um, door's open now! Well, we got the door open. <laughs> That's what I said, oh so... My God. Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Well, last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. Convenient. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I Can work I the front desk. I... So that's... Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so you much sure blood. Go lock screaming? the front door. Keep people it, it out of the a, hallway. I need you to be sure no <laughs> one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I'm pretty certain that beauty has this. nothing to do with it, but she just seemed to be at every... Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. She just, she just seemed to be in every place where there seems to be a murder. A bit convenient there, but... Oh no, she can't do that, right? Oh no. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. <laughs> I just can't even imagine. Because of she was at the hotel we even be in here. when Faith died. No idea where she was when, um... What is that? Died, but, it's a book but, about Snow no. White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. But yeah, she was at she was said she was working here when Holly died. Not Holly, Lily, even. So the she whole seems book to be is about her? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she seems to be everywhere. 
I would read this. Step my, I can't. I have no idea what it says because <laughs> it's not even even in, even in English. So. <laughs> Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Mm. Hmm. The What's poison mean? apple? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? He likes people hairless. He's obsessed with death. The bed matches. Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. Okay. Um, anything else I can do in here? Can I, like, interact with anything? Not by looks of it. Alright. Well. Okay, bottle. God. He brought wine. Classy. The 1934 wine. <laughs> Probably good. Cassette. For my arrival. Alright. I thought that was God, I thought that's a person in the closet then. <laughs> that, that just looked like that looked like a face then. <laughs> oh dear. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. <laughs> what what are you thinking? He could be crossing it with you. <laughs> uh We found Lily wearing something else, tailored after one of Snow's suits. It's possible that the dress is actually for Mr. Smith himself. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But then, what do you really expect from a psycho killer? Jesus, that poor girl. What did she walk into? She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Hang on one second. She must have been so scared. I think I heard someone in the house. I don't know. I'm pretty certain I was alone, alone but aren't I? Someone might have came back home. It's right. <laughs> I just wanted to double check that. Um, Maybe think she that's, didn't see it coming. I think that's it in this room. I'm not sure. Oh, let's talk to Beauty then. You better not be hiding anything. How do I find out find out who rents the rooms? Anything else you can tell me. Um I don't want to be blunt and say, Oi, did you do this? But I'm going to anyway. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Yeah, but you must know something. Is there anything else I can Damn. do? Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Uh, oh, I can play the cassette, can't I? Yes. <laughs> Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while, and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I was thinking. Let's keep, keep that playing. Oh, there's something on the floor then. Back over there. Um, an apple. Poison apple, just like how Snow White, like, not died, but fell asleep. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? She was eating some of the It's like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Oh, of course. I see. That makes yeah. perfect sense. 
That psycho makes her act out a scene with a fake poison apple, and then he cuts her head off for real. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. I mean, he's wearing that dress. I'm just not sure what to do with that. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. What was that? Oh, is that another note? Looks like it. An envelope. Is that actual Snow White or is that the, the glamour? Girl. It's hard to tell. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken Ooh. last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. It's gonna be you. What <laughs> is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the hell? <laughs> That's a. Uh... Okay. Now we know why Crane's so interesting. Achievement unlocked, no respect for the dead. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Right, so Kane's now on the run. The king is really old and starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh, no, you can't take charge. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> Um, episode two complete. Um, how do you respond to Crane about Snow's death? Assumed not caring about it. Yeah, only twelve percent really. <laughs> how did you treat the murder suspect? Uh, Thirty-eight percent of players forced him to talk. So everyone seems to be so nice <laughs> in this game. I tend to just be violent and like, you will answer me. Did you let the snow come come to you, c come with you to the trick trap? Ninety one percent. Wow, that's high percentage. Did you handle Georgie Georgie Porgie? How did you handle? Yep, thirty one percent hit Georgie. Did they? Yeah, two hundred people are nice. Oh, uh, I just didn't uh, not hit him second second time. See, I didn't want to have a fight with Beast, so that makes sense. Because Beast just got the like the wrong idea. All right. And I'm still not joining the discussion, no matter how many times you try and force this on me. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so what I've learned from this is people people playing this game are far too nice. I just like to hit things. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so this has been episode two. Next episode, I... Yes, <laughs> in the next episode, obviously, that will be episode three. And uh, yes, thank you so much for watching everyone, and if you enjoyed this video then hit a hit that like button, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, I play, I play loads of random games and did that snow crash? No it didn't crash, it decided to just go off screen madly for some reason. There we go. But um, but yeah, so, yeah, so subscribe if you haven't done so already, and uh, yes, I shall see you all in the next video people. <laughs> I just want to see if this works alright. I'm just making sure that it doesn't skip straight to episode 3. No it doesn't. Cool. Actually first, as it is at the end of the video, I'm gonna look at the Book of Fables for anyone who is interested. And um, yes.
Okay, so we've got Ichabod Crane. We well, you know about Ichabod Crane now, what he's really like. But um, yeah, I couldn't forget to look at these for you people who are actually interested. But um, yeah, pause and read. I just, oh, I'll just skip past him. Thirteenth floor. All right. Magic mirror. The witching well. Jack Horner. Uh, Lily. What's left of Lily? <laughs> Troll cross. Georgie Borgie, pudding and pie. <laughs> now I understand it. <laughs> didn't like go. I didn't cross me about the pudding and pie bit at the end there. <laughs> Clever hands and Nerissa. Thank you for the key, Nerissa. Didn't use it though. <laughs> but yeah, so then obviously yeah, I got I got achievements. I think I got three or four in this in this video. But yeah, so but yes. Anyway, like I was going to do anyway. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Ooh.